Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Stanley 111 and welcome to Warhammer Vermintide, which is part of the End Time series. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a series. Um, I'm. I just want to. I just want to say I'm, I've never been a massive Warhammer fan before I get into this, and this is a beta. So, yeah, I'm going to give my first impressions. I played about five, ten minutes already of this game. But we're going to be playing a little bit of the first mission of the game. And if you guys want me to complete more or complete the actual full mission in a video, do tell me in the comments below. And if you want me to involve some of you guys or even just some of my friends, I do have a couple other codes that will allow me. Because this is mainly supposed to be a co-op, up to five player game. So I'm going to ignore what he's saying. And we're gonna, just going to jump in. We're going to make sure, yeah, we've got full ammo. I am the archer character. There are four characters, uh, five characters, and I'm going to be playing as Kerillion, the Wood Elf Waywatcher, who sounds sometimes Scottish, sometimes Irish, and possibly Welsh in some of her dialogue. So yes, uh, I've not really played, uh, I've played with all of them inside this little um, hub world, the, the inn, but I've not played at all with any of them apart from the, the Wood Elf in the actual game. We're going to be playing normal today. I'm probably going to get my ass kicked because I'm bad at video games. I'm not going to be playing hard just yet, but if you guys want me to change the difficulty, do tell me. But anyway, let's jump in and uh, we're just going to host our own game and play ourselves. If anyone else joins, I don't know if they can join yet because this is closed beta only for the media and YouTubers. So you're getting an early access sort of view. And this should be. Sh there we go. Right, here we go. Right, here we go. I've got the settings a little bit lower, so I do get better frame rate, and it's obviously not optimized. I'm still getting. I mean, it's saying it's 40 frames, but didn't look at there. But we've got four of our characters there, and we're just going to zoom in to our character. So, um, I I did say I played. I haven't played loads. Oh yeah, we can change inventory apparently. Uh, I'll get into that in another video if I do play more of it. But apparently, there's quite a little bit of customization when you get deeper into the game. I played about five ten minutes of just mucking around with the combat system. Make for the tower. The streets are thronged with rat men. It matters not. they are only rats. Treat them as such. Right, so as you heard there, the streets are swarmed by rats. So the rats have taken over this town and we have to warn the rest of uh, the people within it because they're asleep and they can't hear thousands of rats entering. So I have got a bow and arrow and a dual wielding dagger like sword. Like, they're, yeah, they're daggers. They're, they're kind of like Sting out of Lord of the Rings. Um, but obviously not as cool, they don't shine when, well, you never know, but uh, I don't think they'll shine when goblins are about. So we're going to be up against a lot of rats, and it is a horde game. I've got to say, it's very, very, well, from my experience, very, very similar to Left 4 Dead. And from what I've played, it's pretty good. It works really well as a horde game. He was twitching, just making sure he's dead. Um, at the moment, it's, it's you will notice a lot of similarities to Left 4 Dead, um, which I think a lot of people have been comparing it to Left 4 Dead, which is is not a bad thing at all. Left 4 Dead is an amazing experience. It's one of the better zombie games out there. But this is not a zombie game. This is a rat game. <laughs> You're going to be facing off a lot of different types of rats as well. Um, there are very. Oh. Can we uh, pick up the stuff? Maybe not. Anyway, so there are some different classes of rats. Um, there is a, a boss like one that I encountered. It's not going to be too long away. Uh, that is kind of like a, a tank. It felt like a tank. It, it bashed me about like a tank would. 
in Left 4 Dead tanks, I mean. Uh, I'm getting low frames, which I'm sorry for, but it is beta. I didn't expect it to be running smoothly. I do want to say that I did have a very bad crash, and that is a, a special rat taking out one of my allies. And there are five playable characters, as you probably saw, and I look like I might be in trouble here. Let's just get out here. Uh, you can block, but my weapons are not the best for blocking, and I think the character's dead. Yes, she is dead, the mage. Alright, I'm going to show off. No, I'm not. I, I haven't found a sprint yet. This is one of the good things. If there's a group of enemies and you've got quite a few arrows you can afford to that you can afford to waste you can just spray and you will eventually get a lot of them down um oh maybe there maybe there's only four characters allowed at no where's oh, the, the, the dwarf the dwarf must be dead there's a potion right that's a speed boost potion so that's probably instead of a uh, sprint but I'm gonna heal myself up. I didn't fully heal, but yeah. Before there was some arrows here. I'm just gonna take some of them because we did use a few of them. Oh, took her off. But yeah, um, <laughs> it does seem like a fun game. If it can work properly, I will happily do more of this game. And I do. Um, this is what I meant on Twitter by the experiment. I was gonna do a couple of gameplays on this channel, which I usually do on my second channel. And I used to do gameplays on this channel, but I kind of toned away from it. I know this is a first impressions, and I've, I've done a couple of first impressions video on this channel. But, yeah, as I said, I could do more gameplays in the future if you guys are okay with that. So our objective right now, which I'm probably not going to be doing, is getting to a tower. I should probably have gone... We're going to take the speed potion and take another speed potion so now we can run about a bit but this is where I had the tank like rat but I don't see him and that's the speed boost already done I don't have any health oh medical supplies please oh you've taken them all have no that's a bomb yeah there's bombs as well oh what's this Right, so we do have. Yeah, we must have four characters. Where's the the majors over there? That's three. Down on the bottom, oh, he's still alive. Then the bottom we have three, but the the mage isn't there. But we have, we had the major a second ago. I'm sure of it. But she was the one that was going down. Oh, maybe I'm just blind. But the tank like thing hasn't come out yet. So maybe it's at certain random moments, so it's not completely scripted. I didn't get too much further on. These guys are very heavily armoured and can only really be damaged by headshots or head hits. And I am pretty heavily damaged. Oh, this could have some health, hopefully. Mm, doesn't look like it. Damn it. But yeah, we need to reach the Magnus Tower. Which uh, has a horn in it to raise awareness. Well, with awareness. Pretty sure I already said that's to you. But um, I'll happily do a little bit of gameplay for each of the characters if you guys want. Um, I mean, it does look like quite a fun game. And I think the mage character could be quite interesting to play as. And from last experience, there's a horde area up ahead and by horde area I mean a ton, an absolute ton of rats are going to be swarming us. Yeah, it's only, no, we'll take it anyway because the AI are going to <laughs> exactly take ammo. They don't use it too much of it. Oh god, that's, the, yep, it's a trap. Here they come. And as you can see, I'm probably going to die here with my ammo. Oh, uh, with my health. Yeah, I'm about to go down now and down. Right. So that's only the normal difficulty and I got swarmed. I think it... Well, I did have low health. I only had two blocks of health. And 
these guys are not coming back to help me because they are silly AI, despite the fact that they can do so. And uh, looks like that's game over for me. I should have probably done this on easy mode so I could show you, like, all the way through. But now we get to view these guys in action. So this guy has an axe and shield, as you can see, but he also has a crossbow, which I didn't like as much as the bow and arrow because the bow and arrow is so much faster and the crossbow takes up quite some time to uh, reload. But it doesn't have some knockback damage and I think it can do collateral damage as well. He looks like he's in a bit of a pickle as well. Uh, this guy has two shotguns, I believe, and also um, a sword. But he can shoot both shotguns at the same time, but he just drops the shotgun, so he's got quite a fast uh, reload speed. And as you can see, he <laughs> fast firing. Um, this guy, that's me. And that's the dwarf is down. Oh yeah, another one's dead already. Great. That's grand. So, that, with, oh yeah, defeated, with uh, that character failing, I'm going to give it a good old 4 rating, because that was, that was quite enjoyable, uh, despite dying. You do get XP and you level up, um, even when you die. I did quit out before, so I've only got a little bit of XP, uh, and now I've doubled my XP. So, we're going to return to the inn, and... I know it's only 14 minutes or something, but I've had I've have played a little bit more in my spare time. So what are my first impressions overall? Pretty good. Um, I definitely recommend you jump in the the, alpha, the beta. I believe is going to be public for one day, um, this Wednesday or Thursday. Oh, okay. We're we're just jumping right back into it. Um, I'm I'm pretty sure I hit return to the inn, but we'll, we'll give it another bash while I uh, just talk here. Anyway, it is quite a fun game. I definitely recommend you jump into it, or try to jump into it if you can. If you've already been invited and you haven't downloaded it, it's 12 gigabytes, but I, it's definitely worth the wait. If you've got a decent internet, well, <laughs> hats off to you, but I've not got a very good internet and it lasted quite a few hours for this download. So, yeah, I'm pretty pleased that it has been fun. There's three levels in this beta, and there's going to be 12 or 13 in the, the final game with more to come, I'm pretty sure. It's got a very solid melee combat, and it, it brings in both melee and uh, first person, not sure as such, but the, the projectiles. They, they, they come together quite well. And not a lot of games do that. There's quite a lot of games that haven't exactly made a great <laughs> impression on but yeah, I don't know when the game's actually going to, or planned to be released. I think it's um, late October. It's not ages and ages away, but you never know. I might be completely wrong. There's going to be another beta. Uh, I think it's... I'm not sure if that's just for the media as well uh, in October. There's going to be another... I'm pretty sure it might be... I'm pretty sure it'll be public. It should be public. All right, we've got medical supplies this time. Right, we actually killed that guy quite fast, the armored guy. But yeah, I'm not going to play much more. Uh, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, make sure to drop a like, drop a comment and subscribe if you've not done so already. Um, we've recently had 4,000 subscribers, which I'll be talking about in my next Sally's Tea Break. Maybe we'll see the tank this time because it was a lot more quiet. I have noticed a couple of uh, animation glitches which should be fixed by the release. Whew. The hell was that? Doesn't look like the tank is going to come out today. So, yeah. Sorry guys. I promise you there was a tank-like special.